We really did have everything, didn't we? The climate emergency is all around us. Mega droughts, extreme heat, mega floods, and superstorms. The impacts have arrived earlier than many predictions, and they have hit with far greater ferocity than anyone imagined. Rising greenhouse gases are setting off a chain of events that is changing everything. Our once stable planet is starting to look unrecognizable. Every decade we fail to act, we reduce the resilience of the systems we need for our water to drink, our food to eat, our economies, and even our happiness. Every decade we fail to act, we step closer to dangerous climate tipping points. Major changes to our planet that will affect billions of people around the world. Crossing tipping points will create huge changes that will become self-perpetuating and in many cases, irreversible. How close are we to these tipping points? Research just published provides new insights into the state of critical Earth systems at risk. At our current 1.2 degrees Celsius of global warming, we are entering the danger zone for tipping points in five major systems. The irreversible collapse of ice sheets in the Western Antarctic and Greenland the death of equatorial coral reefs around the world, and the abrupt thawing of permafrost in northern Canada, Alaska, and Russia. This will release more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. It is now likely that we will reach 1.5 degrees Celsius warming by the 2030s. At this level of warming, latest research indicates it is likely we could cross tipping points in five more systems. The slowing of Atlantic currents risks bringing harsh winters to Europe and causes sea levels to rise along the coast of America. The Barents Sea north of Scandinavia may become permanently ice-free, further destabilizing Europe's weather. And the total loss of alpine glaciers around the world is likely. Current policies put the world on track for a temperature rise of at least 2.6 degrees Celsius by 2100. Beyond two degrees, we enter the danger zone for major disruption of the African monsoon and for the Amazon rainforest. Tropical forests over vast areas may die out and the grasslands that will replace them will store much less carbon and biodiversity. If temperatures reach this dangerous level, one third of the world's population could be living with an extreme heat belt stretching around the globe. That's potentially three billion people. Most of the impact will be felt by the poorest and most vulnerable living in already fragile states. By failing to make large emissions reductions, we are taking astounding risks with the stability of our planet and of our societies. Climate change will continue to amplify every risk humanity already faces in a way that is even more unjust. Only by rapidly reducing greenhouse gas emissions and protecting nature can we substantially reduce risk. We can and we must do this. The lives and the well-being of billions of people depend on it.